good morning welcome to another vlog so today is tuesday and i'm about to leave in about 10 minutes to go get my hair done i am so excited so i did want to vlog a little bit today and show you guys like the before and after and then i'll probably vlog again tomorrow when i run a few last minute errands before we leave on vacation so we do believe on friday we are going up to tennessee and we're gonna stay in a cabin for a few days for fall break so i am super excited we're actually going with some friends they're meeting us up there so that's gonna be a lot of fun but i have not gotten my hair done in so long so or at a actual salon i should say so my friend she usually cuts my hair for me um but i never do anything exciting i always just get a haircut and blow dry sometimes i'll ask her to do like a deep conditioning to my hair or like a gloss treatment but other than that i don't do anything um exciting so i decided to go ahead and dye my hair i don't know um exactly how it's going to come out fingers crossed i love it i am seeing a new hairstylist so my friend right now she's trying to quarantine her and her family so i didn't want to ask her um to cut my hair because like i said she's trying to quarantine and the last thing i want to do is ask her to cut my hair so um i decided to just go to the salon and actually I was originally gonna go to a salon that's like literally down the street from me. It's probably like five minutes from me, but I had someone reach out to me on Instagram and she told me she had a salon, which is not far from my house. And I looked at all of her work and it looks like she does really great work. I've already had a consultation with her like about a week or two ago and I really liked her. She was super sweet. So I am going to get my hair done by her, which is always nerve wracking a little bit when you are seeing a new hairstylist that has never um, done your hair before. But like I said, I have looked at all of her work and all the reviews and a lot of people seem to really love her. So I'm gonna get my hair done. If I remember, I will pop in a few pictures of a few ideas that I'm leaning towards. I'm not going too light just because keeping up with that is going to be hard. I have dark hair, so once it starts growing out, it's gonna be super noticeable. So. I want something subtle that once it starts growing out, it's not going to be super noticeable. So we'll see how it turns out. Cross will be done by the time the kids are out of school. So my appointment's at 10 and I have until 2 o'clock. I cannot leave any later than 2 or I'll be late picking up the kids. So I'm hoping that is enough time. She thinks it'll be enough time. Um, but obviously, since she's never worked on my hair, she can't tell me exactly how long the process is going to be because she doesn't know how long she has to keep the hair dye in my hair for it to pick up. So fingers crossed, I'm not like picking up the kids, but I'm going to go ahead and walk the dog really, really quickly and then I will head out. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Right, you guys so i suck at vlogging as always but i am now in the car i had to rush over to the kids school because um i literally had no time to go back home but i guess i'll show you how my hair looks like at home like a better look but this is how it looks like i said i am going to insert a photo of what i showed her um of an idea of what i was looking for so i do like it i don't know if i want to go lighter though i think i might want to go lighter so i'm gonna see if i um, want to change it within a week because maybe within a week I will change my mind and I'll say no but yeah this is how it looks it looks really good like I said once I get home I'll show you guys how it looks because it will look a little bit different um not in the car hi, hi buddy how was school good do you like my hair yeah you like my hair is it pretty yeah it's really pretty did you get it done yeah can you close the door and buckle yourself okay where are you? No, I went to a hair salon this time. Okay. You have a good day at school? Yeah. I decided to save for my Cheetos. Save your Cheetos. Hi. You're getting so big. Oh, your mouth is all full of water. Hi. Because she just because she just drank water. And she always dips her whole entire face in the bowl. And Madison, what are you eating? Are you eating Cheetos? I got to get you guys something to eat. Hi, Mabel. But yeah. I want to show you. Ah! Maple almost stepped on you. Wanted to show you. So my husband decided that we didn't have enough animals and that we needed a lizard. So now we have three pets. We have a poppy. We have a hamster. Hi. And we have a lizard. Lizard sleeping. Maple, how do you feel about that? 
How do you feel about that? Hi, you're so pretty. Hmm. Hey, news! I'm gonna do my channel again. Okay, and here's all my pets. I I got a puppy right here. I also got a lizard over there on the stick. What's and your I lizard's name? It's Greeny. Greeny? What's her name? Maple. And then I got a hamster that she might know named Rocket. Rocket. Yeah, we know Rocket. Yep, but it's... and I'm and I'm gonna do my my chair channel and post it on YouTube again. We're going to do toy reviews, scavenger hunts, and everything fun. <laughs> Maybe we have to go potty. Look, she has to go potty. Can you open the door for her? And we're also going to do pet stuff. Hey friends, so it is now the following day. It is Wednesday. Today is the kids' The last day of school before they go on fall break the kids are so excited ryan said that today is like his friday which it is pretty much like his friday because he's off for um fall break for the next few days um like i mentioned a million times before we leave on friday for the mountains we are going up to tennessee with friends and i'm so excited but i'm currently in the parking lot of walmart i was gonna go to target i really did want to go to target but i have to return something um at walmart so i bought these pajama pants from walmart and i got a small and they do fit but i feel like in my thigh area they are a little snug i feel like ever since i started working out my thighs are just so much bigger so a lot of pants are much tighter on me so i have to exchange that for a bigger size um so i figured i'll just come to walmart and get everything that i need i need to get a few travel size items i do have like um i think conditioner like face wash maybe travel size i wrote everything that i needed but i know i need it um some like toothpaste and a toothbrush and shampoo kids baby wash so there's a few things i need to pick up also madison needs more diapers so i'm just gonna pick it up here at walmart so i figured i would take you guys inside with me so i'll show you guys a few things that they have maybe that is new for the holidays or fall um so yeah it'll be kind of be like a shop with me in this vlog because i'm not sure what else we're gonna be doing today if i have time i want to do this like little haunted house with um the kids i got a gingerbread house um for halloween from sprouts um so i might do that in this vlog as well i just don't know if we're gonna have enough time because madison does have therapy today um so i'll try to do that as well if not maybe we can do it tomorrow um but tomorrow i'll probably be really busy as well because tomorrow i'm gonna do a lot of cleaning and packing so I don't know, we'll see, but I will try to make this vlog a little more exciting. So let's go ahead in to Walmart. So I wanna show you guys, these are the nails I usually use by Kiss, the press on nails, and they work really good. They have a bunch of really pretty ones. I've never tried the jelly ones, but those are really pretty as well. But they have a few different designs and lengths. These are also one of my favorite ones. Like, if you guys don't want to do press on nails, these are really good. They're by Dashing Diva, and they stay on really long, and they're only $6.97. So I came really quickly to see their home section, and I feel like Walmart is definitely stepping up their game. Look how cute this is. Put your Wi-Fi password there. A lot of stuff is like farmhouse, which I love. All this is so cute. If you guys are looking for house decor, you guys should definitely check out Walmart. A look happiness is homemade that's really cute as well yeah they have a lot of really cute things right now this mirror is really nice too how much is it? it's 90 dollars it comes in that white and then this is like a dark wood color it's really pretty so i'm in the candle section and i think walmart is trying to compete with bath and body works because i'm going to show you guys these candles these candles are there's no price and i'm not sure how much these candles are there's no price tag here but i'm going to turn the camera around sorry about the lighting and show you guys these candles that look just like um bath and body works so these candles look like something you would find in bath and body works again i don't know how much they are there is no like tag that's showing how much they are but they have a ton of different um scents let me know if you guys have tried these candles this one's called Farm Fall Farmhouse. And then they also have this one that's really cute. And it's called Country Holiday. That's really pretty as well. But yeah, I thought I would show you guys that as well.
probably have is an extra small, which I already know is going to be too small for me. And once I wash it, it'll probably shrink. But it's a pajama set, you guys. Look at how cute. You guys know me, you guys know I'm obsessed with this book. It's going to come in shorts. So I'm tempted to just buy it because it's the last one they have. They have a Snoopy one that's kind of cute, but I never really liked Snoopy growing up. So I really want this one. I'm going to put it in the cart and think about it. All right, guys, I am now back home and I'm playing with the puppy. I'm about to take her on a really quick walk. I don't know what's wrong with sliding. Probably use them right in front of the window, but I'm going to take the puppy a, a really quick walk and then eat a really quick lunch as well. Um, and then I'll show you guys what I got from Walmart. So I did end up going in to Dollar Tree as well. I ran into there um, and I picked up a few things. I wanted to look for like stuff for the kids for the road, like little activities for them to do. Our road trip should only be three hours, but with kids, you guys know, it takes longer to do things. So it might end up being a four hour trip, hopefully. I'm hoping for like three to three and a half hours, but yeah, I bought the kids some activities and then I just bought the travel toothbrushes from Dollar Tree as well. Um, so I'll show you guys a, a little haul. I'll show you guys what I got from Walmart as well. I did not vlog a lot in there just because one, there was a lot of people in there and two, I kept on getting all these stares. Like people were staring at me. It was so awkward. And also I want to film a Walmart shop with me soon. Like once I get back from vacation, I see that they have a lot of Christmas stuff out right now. So um, I might do that soon. Let me know if you guys want me to do a Walmart Christmas shop with me. I also am so sad. I did not get that Hocus Pocus pajama set because it was an extra small and I knew it was gonna be too small on me. So I put it back, but I think I might go back um, to a different Walmart and see if they have my size because you guys know I love Hocus Pocus and I would love to have that pajama set for vacation and obviously when we get back home too as well. So if I have time, I might go tomorrow and see if I can find a um, better size than an extra small. I probably could have gotten away with the extra small, but I already know the shorts would have been way too short to wear on vacation. We are gonna be with friends. So at home it would be fine, but I want to wear it um, when we go on vacation. So I might go to another Walmart. Maple, hey, hey, get out of there. Maple, you wanna go for a walk? Mommy has a clean up too. All right, let's go for a quick walk. I had to go to the back to get her leash. Now she doesn't want to come back in. You gotta come in, we gotta take a quick walk. You ready for your walk? You gotta sit. Hey, you gotta you got settle down, girlfriend. Settle down. Sit, Maple, can you sit? She's so hyper. Sit, Maple. Good girl. Okay, oh, you want a belly rub? It's okay, you get belly rub. Say hi to everyone. You all ready for your walk? You ready? Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. He's so pretty. Keep on going. Go. <coughs> Come on. Go. Go walk. No. Keep on going. Come on. Girl. All right, so I am back from walking the dog. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly what I got from the stores. I'm gonna show you what I got from Dollar Tree first. So like I said, I grabbed some toothbrushes and um, toothpaste from Dollar Tree for when we travel. So Madison, I just got her this um, pink Paw Patrol one and then it comes with the little toothbrush cover. And then I got Hot Wheels for Ryan. Same thing, it comes with a cover. And then for me and Robert, I got this one by the brand Reach and it comes with two and both of them come with a toothbrush cover as well. So that'll be our toothbrushes. We already have travel size toothpaste, so I didn't buy any, but I just grabbed the kids this toothpaste. It is large, but they need um, a new toothpaste anyway. So I just grabbed this one with the dinosaurs because Ryan loves dinosaurs. I also got Maddie some more socks. She did have these socks and she's like missing a pair. So I just grabbed her another one. This is the brand Essie and it's really good. I bought her so many um, pairs of socks from this brand from Dollar Tree and they work really well. So grabbed her another pair of that. I got candy corn. So we'll probably eat some candy corn today and then save a bag for our road trip. I also got my husband two lollipops. So he really likes these lollipops. I think of these lollipops from high school because in high school we used to sell these for like 50 cents, I think. 
but he likes cotton candy and bubble gum. So I just grabbed him two of those lollipops. And then the rest of the stuff I think is for the kids, um, for the car. Like I said, I think I might have a few more things for myself, but the first thing I got is this etch a sketch little mini doodle pad. So Madison likes to draw on these, but I hate bringing like the huge one from home. So I figured this is a perfect travel size one for her so she can draw in the car. And then I got Ryan these Brain Buster card games. They are dinosaurs. It comes with 31 cards and there's a bunch of like trivia questions on there about dinosaurs. So that would be fun for him. I also got him this color by number dinosaur little coloring book. So comes with the markers already. And then each page he has to um, color the dinosaurs and then they are numbered. Oh my God, that lighting. They are numbered and he has to color by the number. So but that would be fun for him as well. I also picked up this. It says, what do you see? Wild animal search and count activity book. I thought that would also be fun for him. So it's just a little activity book and... I thought that would be fun for him. He likes um, stuff like that. I also picked up this Crayola Fun Felt. So again, dinosaurs, he loves dinosaurs. So I thought that would be fun for him to do in the car. And then this book, I thought this was a really cute book. It is called Jake Travels Back in Time. It is a story with morals and values. So I thought that was really cute so that he could read in the car. I also bought him um, a book from Walmart. I'll show you guys. Then I got him Toy Story, the comic story. So right now he's really into comics. So I thought this would be fun. And for a dollar, I thought that was a really good price. So grabbed him that so he can read in the car as well. And then the last few items is for me. I grabbed this Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Detoxifying Charcoal Acne Fighting T-Zone Mask. So hopefully that works out. And then I've never tried these... Um, hair mask. I have tried this brand Freeman face mask, but I didn't even know they had stuff for your hair. So these are the three they had in my Dollar Tree. So they have a honey hair mask, a chamomile hair mask, and then the last one is a smoothing oil hair mask. So I thought this was perfect to bring one on vacation with us, just throw it in my suitcase. So these are the three that I grabbed. And then that is everything I got from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly what I got from Walmart. There's a few things I'm not gonna show you um, just because they're random stuff. So like diapers and wipes, stuff like that. Um, I'm not gonna show you, but I did pick up this Bud Light Platinum Seltzer um, water and it's really good. My husband actually picked it up for the first time, I think last week or something, and it has 8% alcohol. I know all the other seltzer waters, I think is like 4.5 or 5%. So. These are pretty good, so I picked up another pack of this. And then I picked up snacks for the kids for the car, so grabbed this big bag of different types of chips for them. I also grabbed this box of these fudge stripe um, cookies. Madison loves these cookies, so does Ryan, so grabbed a box of that. So I grabbed these sandals. I don't know if you're supposed to wear them out like in public, but I'm using them as like house slippers. I like that it has the hard bottom because sometimes I go out in the backyard in the back deck and my other slippers always get ruined because they don't have that, that hard bottom, but they're really fuzzy. And my lighting, you guys, is terrible, but it's like a white fuzz and it has gold buckles here. So I grabbed that. I grabbed Madison a pajama set and it just says snuggle is real. And it's a two piece pajama set and it was only $4.96. So I thought that was a good deal. So I grabbed her that. And then I got myself two pajama tops. So I don't know what's wrong with my Walmart, but all the bottoms, I could not find any bottoms in my size, so I did buy leggings to go with one of them, and then this top, I figured I'll just wear. I have um, black pajama shorts and also leggings. I'll probably just wear with it, but it says Friday, and this is a Secret Treasures brand, so I grabbed this, and like I said, I'll just wear black leggings or black pajama shorts with it, and then the second pajama top I got was this one, and I thought that was really cute. It's super soft, same brand secret treasures so I grabbed that and since they didn't have my size in the bottom for this one because they did have a matching bottom I just picked up these um no boundaries gray leggings that I will wear um to go with that pajama top I just needed um new pajamas because I need to put my hair up um all my pajamas that I currently have right now are super old so they're either have um holes in it or they're super faded so I just grabbed those so that I can bring on vacation with us as well and then I have one more bag. 
And then in this bag, I have another pair of shoes. Well, the first pair were more like house slippers, but I grabbed these. Every time I go to Walmart, I look at them and I never pick them up. I tried them on, they're super comfortable. It's by Time and True and it's just these white slide-ons. I don't know if you guys can see, but the back has those really pretty colors. And like I said, I tried them on and they were super comfortable. So I grabbed those shoes. I did end up getting a travel toothpaste for me and Robert. I don't know why, because we already have some. Um, and then I grabbed this first aid kit because I feel like now every time we leave the house with the kids, someone's always getting hurt. So some uh, first aid kits or a first aid kit. And then I grabbed this Dr. Teal's body lotion. So I don't have to bring my huge um, thing of lotion from Bath and Body Works. I grabbed some shampoo. I grabbed the kids some body wash. And then I found this necklace that's really pretty and it's from Time and True. It was only $2.88 and it has a cross on it. I don't know if you guys can even see. One day I'll fix my lighting. I don't know what's wrong. I filmed my phone so it's hard, but I grabbed that necklace. It was only $2.88. And then the last thing I grabbed was a huge bag of a Laffy Taffy for my husband. I hate Laffy Taffy, but he loves it. So that's like his little road snack that I picked up for him. And then the last thing I picked up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, the last thing I picked up was a book for Ryan and it was only $6.98 right now. He's really into Captain Underpants. So I just grabbed him this book so that he can read in the car. And between that book and all the things I bought from Dollar Tree, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna bring a lot of stuff from home, he will be distracted. Madison usually sleeps pretty much half our road trips. And then I will bring a tablet, so they'll have the tablet as well. But anyways, I literally have exactly 20 minutes before I have to leave to pick up the kids. So I'm gonna see if I can unload the dishwasher and then eat a quick lunch. And then I'll pick up the camera hopefully after I pick up the kids, if I remember, because you guys know I suck at vlogging. But see you guys hopefully a little bit later. Oh, I wanna show everyone your cute little outfit. <laughs> Are you ready for vacation? Mm -hmm. Uh oh, Maple's gonna trip you. Maddie, come here. Um, I wanna show everyone. Look, I wanna show you guys. I got these really cute Halloween bows from Walmart. I think they were like, I don't know, like three or four dollars. And they came in a pack of two. And then you see a shirt. This shirt is from last year. It's kind of short on her, but. And then this skirt. Can I see her Halloween skirt? She's not gonna let me see, but it's her little Halloween skirt. And I don't remember where I got that from, but. That's her Halloween outfit. Today was the last day of school. You always want love. You're so jealous, Maple. So jealous. Let's see how brother's day at school was. Ryan, how was your day at school? Ryan, how was your day at school? It was great. Great. Do you want to change your shirt since it's hot outside? No, thanks. No, you're going to keep it on? Hey, no, 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 no. Look, Maple's going to come and eat your stuff. this in Ryan's folder. Some girl drew him a picture of a dinosaur who's Carly. Yeah? Why is she always drawing you pictures? Ryan, is she your new girlfriend? No! <laughs> She's just your friend? Oh, okay. Maple, what are you doing? Hey friends, so it is now the following day. I did not end up um, putting an outro to yesterday's vlog because I didn't pick up the camera again once whatever the last clip was that you guys just watched which was I think me showing you guys the picture of the little girl who drew Ryan a picture but I think that was the last clip and then the rest of the night we just hung out and I just completely forgot to pick up the camera so I'm jumping on here really quickly to close out this vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it this vlog I might have one to two more vlogs um depending on how much I vlog while we are on vacation so the next vlog you guys will see will be a vacation vlog and then after that let me know if you guys want me to continue vlogging like I said vlogs don't do very well on my channel at all so I'm not sure if you guys really enjoy it much um, so if you guys would like me to continue vlogging maybe um, upload a vlog every other week so maybe like twice a month or something like a day in the life I've been thinking about doing a day in the life of a special needs mom I've only done like one or two on my channel so maybe I will do that soon. So let me know if that's something you guys are interested in, if you guys want me to start vlogging more. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, remember to give my video a thumbs up. Also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you haven't already. I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. Love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.